everybody and welcome to my channel blind hope crochet today i'm going to be teaching you how to make a slip knot uh, this video i'm going to try to go into as much detail as to what it feels like to make the slip knot since these videos are mostly intended for visually impaired and blind people like myself so in order to start grab your yarn which today i'm using the grenadine pink in the red heart super saver yarn and this is how I was able to figure out how to do a slip knot. I like to leave my tail long so that way it's easier for me to weave in at the end of a project. So you're going to use the tail in your right hand. I am right handed. If you're left hand, you're going to do this in the opposite way with the left hand. So I grab the tail with my right hand. I wrap it around the index finger of my left hand so it crosses over like when you make a ribbon. Then I grab the point where the two pieces cross and I pull it off the index finger with my right hand. Then I switch it to my left hand so that way I'm able to pick up my hook in my right hand. Now from the front of the loop that you made to the back, I insert my hook. So right now I'm holding the hook in my right hand with the loop of the ribbon that I made with my yarn on the hook holding the cross points with the left hand. Now keeping it on the hook I'm going to switch and grab that cross point with my right hand. Now the tail end of your yarn which is the piece that's not connected to anything I'm going to yarn over the front of my hook so that way it's over the part with the little pointy piece and then I grab it with my hook and pull it through oh sorry grab it with my hook and I pull it through the loop on my hook and then when you pull it up it makes a knot at the bottom and then it feels like you have two strands coming out of the bottom of that loop. One is the tail, which has nothing else connected to it. And then one is the part or the piece that goes to your skein of yarn or to your ball, which is what we call the working end. And if you move it back and forth on the hook, you can feel that it moves freely back and forth without any tension. What's nice about this is you can tighten it a little bit so that way it's not as loose on your hook. So now I'm gonna undo it and I'm gonna do this for you again. So, no hook in the hands. Grab the tail end of the yarn, wrap it around the index finger so it makes a crossing point. Pinch the crossing point of the two pieces with the thumb and index finger of the right hand or your predominant hand and pull it off the index finger of the other hand. Then, with the thumb and index finger of the other hand, pinch that area where they cross, grab your hook, put it from the front to the back through the loop. So don't go behind your yarn, go right through the front and put your hook in there. Then, switch back to the thumb and index finger of the hand that has your hook, take your tail, put it over your hook to yarn over, Grab it with your hook, pull it through the loop, then tug. And there you have your slip knot. Thank you so much for tuning in with me today. If you like what you saw, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the subscribe button so that way you know when I come out with my next video. And be blessed, be safe, be healthy, and be crafty. Bye.